Well, here on Veterans Radio, we're, we're really all about telling veteran stories, sort of getting that word out, um, helping folks understand, you know, what veterans go through in the military, how everybody's got their own story, and and there's there are lessons to learn from every one of these stories. And I think uh, as the host of this series for PBS, American Veteran, you've done a you've done a great job, and they've done a great job uh, putting this together. I commend you. But before I let you kind of sneak your way out of here, um, <laughs> because I I wanted to make fun about a Marine who thinks he can write. Uh, you know, it's one thing to write uh, about uh, you know real life experiences that you have the nonfiction world, but mm-hmm. uh, you've written your first novel. Uh, yes, I have. So tell us a little bit about the creative juices that uh, had you write Missionaries, which was just mm-hmm. uh, released about a year ago, I guess, and mm-hmm. uh, did uh, did real well and is doing real well. Tell us about it. Yeah. So. So my first book was a book of short stories about Iraq. It was called Redeployment. Um, and it was, you know, 12 different characters all in Iraq. And the, and I've been thinking and writing about American wars for a long time now. Uh, and I, you know, write a lot of essays and, and things like that. And the more that I thought about these things, the more it seemed insufficient to just talk about one war, right? So, uh, and to give you an example why, there's a scene in the book later, late in the book, where I have a Colombian mercenary who's looking through the optics of a Chinese-made drone, um, which <laughs> is communicating over sort of Swedish telecommunications uh, infrastructure to an Emirati pilot who's about to drop an American bomb on a Yemeni tribesman, right? This doesn't sound and like this, fiction at this point. This, that's just about reality. <laughs> well, yeah, that is, that is reality. And, you know, when you look at something like that, right, it becomes clear that you can't just talk about one conflict, right? And if you're trying to talk about how we wage war now and the ways in which, you know, we're sort of reshaping the world through that violence, right? Um, And so I decided I was going to create a novel where I have sort of different characters who start out in different theaters of conflict. So, you know, you meet one person in Afghanistan, you meet one person in Iraq, and you meet two other characters in Colombia, which a lot of people don't know has been the largest recipient of military aid in the Western Hemisphere since the end of the Clinton administration, right? And the other thing that a lot of people don't know about Colombia <laughs> is that we keep sort of exporting lessons learned or um, from Colombia to other conflicts that it's seen as a sort of success case. So every ambassador to Colombia post 9-11 has gone on to work in the war on terror in some regard. Two of our ambassadors to Colombia, their next posting was to be the ambassador to Afghanistan. One of them later said there was no place in the world we had more going on than Colombia, including Afghanistan. And so what ends up happening in the novel is these sort of four characters, the sort of fates become entwined because of a military strike in a very poor region of Colombia on the border with Venezuela. And... um, And so I wanted to sort of show sort of at various different levels of the conflict, the ways that we wage war now. So, you know, one of the characters kind of lives in this village and sort of when when violence happens, he experiences it um, as somebody who has to navigate the new sort of social and political landscape in the wake of of, of violence. I have a Colombian military officer. I have a uh, American special forces guy who is sort of at odds with the ways that the mission of special forces has changed over the course of the war on terror. This is sort of a debate that's happened within the SF community. And then uh, you have an American journalist who's kind of trying to make sense of it all. And yeah, so that's, that was sort of the idea behind the novel. Um, well, it sounds, uh, sounds fascinating. I haven't read it. I will. Um, we want to encourage our veteran radio listeners to pick it up and look at it. I think they'll find it, uh, it's got, it's got all the elements, both uh, fact and fiction, that I think uh, will make it uh, a, a quick and enjoyable read. But one more thing I want to ask you about. Uh, yep. you, wrote, you wrote on this in The New Yorker a little bit um, uh, a couple of months back after the, uh, the pullout of Afghanistan, uh, the American pullout of Af- Afghanistan. Give, give us your view on what this, the conclusion of this 20-year 20, 20 war 
kind of means locally in Afghanistan and more globally to the United States. Listen to this full episode and more on the Apple Podcasts app, Blog Talk Radio, Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio. And now streaming on Amazon Music, Audible, and Spotify.